tally marks. In this lesson, you will learn the meaning, how to count, and representing data using tally marks. Here, tally marks is a better way to count, or it's a simple way of keeping track of numbers in groups of five. How to count tally marks? A tally mark is just one line. Count with me. One tally mark. Two tally marks. Three tally marks. Four tally marks. And when we get to the fifth mark, we cross it. Here we have five tally marks. When we get to six, we start another set. It will be five plus one equal six tally marks. The next, five plus two means seven tally marks. The next, five plus three, eight tally marks. Five plus four, nine tally marks. Five plus five, it will be ten tally marks. Let's practice more. Count with me. Let's count the tally marks. Example A. How many tally marks? Here we have a set of 5. It will be 5 plus another 5. 5 plus 5 equals 10 tally marks. Example B. Here we have a set of 5 plus another set of 5 plus another set of 5. It will be 5 plus 5 equals 10 plus 5 equal 15. Example C. As you see, 5 plus 5 equal 10 plus 3 equal 13. Example D. 5 plus 5, 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 2, tally marks equal 17. Okay. Now, Let's learn how to represent data using tally marks. In this table, you want to know the student's favorite color. Then represent this table on this graph. Let's start. Here we have how many students choose the blue. Look here, we have a set of 5 after 5, 6, 7, 7 tally marks. So you will write this in number, it will be 7. Can you represent this 7 on this graph? It is so easy. You will just shade 7 squares. It means the blue is the favorite color for 7 students. Let's see the next color, the red color. Here we have a set of 5, so you will write just 5. Then shade 5 squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares. It means red is the favorite color for 5 students. The last color, the green color. Here we have 1, 2, 3. 3 students like the green color. So you will just shade 3 squares. It means 3 students prefer green color. And this was our lesson. Thank you.